Hello Aries, welcome to your 2019 reading. Thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow Aries to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you so much divine, we appreciate your energy and your information is always welcome as well as your presence. So this is a collective reading for all Aries, the sun, moon, and rising for the year of 2019. What I'll be doing is the 12 monthly energies, which uh, just just a quick, we're not doing an in-depth reading, just doing a quick one. If you'd like a personal reading, please go to royalmystic.com. You can book your own reading. It's right up here at the top of my table, and uh, you'll be able to schedule something that fits your uh, life as well as mine. So it's it lets you do it yourself, which is amazing and fabulous because whatever time zone you're in, it allows that to take precedence. So we're starting with January, which is the f number one on the clock. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and the one and only December. So that's remaining in balance. So Aries, you have some really intense energy out here. Oh, wow. Okay, so blockages removed. That explains this card. So I'll get to it when we get down there. So we have the Tower card, which is all about tearing down obstacles and removing them from your path. So if you're trying to get uh, progressive through the year and you've been having some things holding you back from last year, it looks like 2019 is the year the, the year the towers get knocked down. So removing things from your, blocking your, your progress. So right off the bat in January, you have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is all about having uh, the clear-cut, fast-moving energy gets you straight to the point, uh, cuts through the veil, you know, gets anything out of the way that might trip you up, uh, and, and a lot of debris that falls from this tower being knocked down. It's an enlightening thing, and it's an it's, when you get into something that needs to be rebuilt, you've got to tear it down first. There always has to be some some uh, demolition, right? The demolition has to happen so that you can to build the new, you know, and uh, remodel, rejuvenate, build it the way that suits you, customize it for your own needs. And if it's something that's just been blocking you and just at every turn, you want it out of the way. So you got to knock it to the ground. The moon card is another enlightenment card. So this can also mean something coming to light. But this is about enlightenment uh, with divine timing. So this is more about a soul thing. This is uh, you're leveling up somehow in your spiritual endeavors. It's allowing you to become in balance in that because you see here you've got the chakra energies, all the colors on the left and on the right. You just have the white light, which is not just the white light. It's the universe. It's wonderful, but you want to have all your chakras in alignment. So this is kind of a key to uh, let you know, get yourself in alignment so that you can ha handle what's about to be revealed because Spiritual maturity never stops. We are constantly growing just like in life. So these are new things to be learned. The very next card is the Eight of Pentacles, which is all about learning something new. Now this particular thing is actually something that's going to serve you, uh, bring you something in exchange for what you know in the knowledge. So pay close attention because it's it's coming. Some of you may be going back to school or you may be just getting, you know, somebody may be ready to teach you something that will help you later on. Life is all about that, you know, learning. Even when we don't think we are, <laughs> it, it's all a lesson. <laughs> so here is the death card. Now, it is not the uh, stereotypical death as we see it in our humanity. What this is, is the grand bulldozer or street cleaner, street sweeper. It comes in, or snow plow comes in and not gets all of this. All of this debris is pushed out of the way and it smooths the surface for you to be able to move and do what you need to do. So even when you demolish something, when something falls down, there's always got to be the big dump truck full of 
rubbish, okay? So it's, it's going to take all that rubbish and remove it from your path so that you can go smoothly ahead. Now, this is information coming in. Someone contacting you regarding a job. Uh, someone telling you something in advance of everyone else. So it's, it's a heads up on something. And it looks like by uh, June, you are just bogged down into the exhaustion of work. You've been work, work, working head to you know nose to the grindstone really trying to get a project finished this is the last leg of that though so you're almost done you're almost to the point of of finishing and completing this task these are all the wands that you've planted previously so these are completed tasks and you've got this one last one before you can move on this is part as a big work in progress so it takes a while to get all that cleaned up and 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 rebuilt Six of Cups is your family energy, your family, um, soul family. These are people who are in your life at this time who support you and assist you in any way they can. They are those people that are, you feel like it's a, a real strong connection even if they're not really family. Um, you feel like you have some past life energy with them. And they are always here for support and assistance they help us through the times when when we're feeling like it's you know do or die moment that's how you figure out who they are because they show up in those moments where other people won't and then you have the ten of pentacles showing up in uh, august so that's july with the soul family and august is a big big payout of some kind this is a lifetime of money so this looks like you're having an oh thank god moment in september thank you jesus lord it's happening um, you're, you've got your head down. It's not for nothing. You, you worked your butt off to get there. So you're very happy, finally. So this is the please God help me moment. And this is the oh God thank you moment over here. And the next card is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is that uh, gift from the universe of stability, uh, of uh, planted roots, you know, having that, that wonderful guaranteed uh, financial stability, not having to worry about where your next meal's coming from or if you're going to have enough to pay the light bill. Then we have the lovers. So in November, some of you will be starting a new relationship, either with your higher self or with someone in a soul union. Okay. And if you're already with someone, if this would be your higher self, your spiritual self, having that uh, ascension. And if, you, if you're single, you'll be getting a new relationship. A lot of you, will, that'll be the, the energy for the year. Then in December, you end the year with balance. And that's a good thing. This means you're able to make everything, all ends are... All ends meet and you are able to sustain yourself. So let's see what, I'm going to just give it a couple of shovels. I know we did it a second ago, but I just feel the need. So here we go. This is the clarifiers. Okay, and... Queen of Pentacles, Aries. This is very grounded, stable energy. So, so the foundation is the key here. So once this is knocked down, your foundation is what, what remains. The Queen of Pentacles is a very grounded and stable energy and a very loving energy. So building from that place, you can't lose. You got to knock down what's there and start from a place of love and solid genuineness. So anything that's was on a false foundation or was untrue or unstable is now going to be stable. And Knight of Swords and the Four of Swords. So what this is all about is not getting out there and running yourself ragged until you drop. Please make sure that you give yourself enough time to rest, recuperate, recover. If you have any kind of illness going in, uh, make sure that you allow yourself to recover properly and take good care of yourself. Don't just try to jump right back on the horse. Um, always remember your battery has to be re recharged internally just like it does for a cell phone. You can't connect to universe without having your battery charged up. It's very difficult to even think straight when you're too tired or too hungry. So here we have the moon, which is something being revealed, coming to light. And uh, uh, 
a level up with the chariot. The chariot is change in status. So this is also called the Hollywood card, being in the spotlight. So definitely something being revealed or brought to light in February. March, it looks like you're having a little moment here about maybe uh, regrets of some kind where you're looking back in the past and feeling a little angst, a little, little nostalgic and a little emotional. But you've got to look forward and uh, learn what you can now. Don't think about the past. Look forward. Focus on the future. We can never gain anything by, by dwelling in the past. So don't let yourself linger there too long. April, you've got the death card which sweeps the deck which opens up room for communication. So there's a lot of communication going back and forth. And I feel like it's negotiation or information about a job. Um, Here's the job offer that you're not too sure of. You're, you're on, on, on the onset, you're thinking, I'm not sure if that's the job for me. But um, don't pass it up. Be sure to check it out before you don't sit on it too long to where you, you miss the opportunity. You can always choose to say no after you go for the interview. But don't miss the interview. Here's the Nine of Wands, and that's the hard work. And this is where it pays off with the Nine of Pentacles. So you go from your energy Aries, the Nine of Wands, into the Nine of Pentacles, which is the Garden of Eden, having everything you need at your fingertips, being able to be self-sustaining and independent and not have any worries about anything. The Garden of Eden, there was never any lack. So there was always plenty of everything. There was no fear, no hunger, no, no sickness. So that's a, an amazing energy and very worth having. You worked hard for it, and the reward comes in. Six of Cups, which is your soul family, with temperance, which is the universe assisting and working things out in your behalf, behind the scenes. So this is definitely all about uh, having the, the union of the uh, universe at your back and, and able to help you through whatever it is you're going through. Many gifts. Now in... August, this huge amount of money, so it's either uh, some kind of windfall, inheritance, a uh, new job, some kind of uh, investment that has paid off. Some of you may be retiring in August of 2019, and you've got the Three of Cups with the big celebration, happy, 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 ready. Now, you've got the Five of Cups, where I feel like it's the Oh Thank God energy because you've finally moved into the celebration. Uh, and this is, this is just that moment of, here I am at the pinnacle of this, and it's telling you not to allow someone to make a false claim. So, so anybody who comes in and tries to jump in on the bandwagon once they see that you get this large sum of money or this big profit that comes in, You've got to be able to uh, not allow them to really stake their claim on that because just because they were there beside you while you did it doesn't mean they deserve to be, have a piece of the pie. Secondly, this can mean don't get your cart before your horse. So the money coming in doesn't necessarily mean that it has anything to do with uh, it being there ready to be spent. So uh, it's, if you say like if you retire, you don't want to spend all of your retirement you want that's got to last you so um, yeah don't don't get too crazy when the lump sum of money comes in be cautious in September um, it looks like October the ace of Pentacles comes in which sures it up so there's the money and there it is locked in and solid and stable and the Sun card coming in which is the happiest card in the deck this is a new beginning. Uh, this also is financial restoration and a new beginning. It's a gift from the universe of security and financial stability. And the, the sun card is your soul being renewed. This baby means renewal of life and the restoration of the sun and the constant rejuvenation. So that's an amazing card. So your October is going to be a bang up month. <laughs> and then we've, got, then we've got the lovers and the archangel Michael here. The King of Swords. So this is a beautiful energy. So this is a soul revelation or some kind of a beautiful new spark of, or reignition, reignition of, a, of a love that's already in existence with the King of Swords. So the King of Swords is the depiction of the Archangel Michael. And that is a beautiful energy 
regarding protection and uh, and assisting you through any kind of tough time. Just know that the archangels must be summoned. We have free will as humans, and they can't intervene unless we call on them. So, two of pentacles here, keeping in balance and moving into your destiny, picking another, picking another rod, choosing a new path, and ending the year with seeking out what your next steps are, what your next cycle is in life. So, Aries, this is an amazing reading. You've got lots of movement, lots of things happening. Many blessings to you. Thank you so much for this amazing year. I so enjoyed doing this for you all. And I look forward to this wonderful 2019 we're going to share together. Many blessings. Namaste. See you soon.